All right. Now we have uh, NeoPixel 211. Okay. So 210, we went over how to read the button and how to latch the button. I still have the code up from the last one. What we're going to do now, right now I push the button, it turns the LED on. I push the button again, it turns the LED off. Right? On, off. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to do a couple more things, a couple more tasks. We're going to change the color of that pixel by every time we hit the button. Or we're going to move the pixel up, whether we're hitting that. Or we're going to reverse direction of the pixel. Okay? So we got three different tasks here, right? Change color, increment the which pixel turns on, and then have the pixel auto-incrementing but change direction. Okay? So we're getting a little deeper here. Hopefully you guys can keep up and pay attention. If you have issues, just leave comments, and I'll really try to explain it to you. Might even redo the video if needed explaining it. Okay. So right now our code is pretty well set up, right? We have the reading of the button and a latch here, and it does something, right? So right now it just turns the pixel on or off, okay? So instead of doing that, let's have it up the colors, okay? So right now I have a Boolean that holds whether the LED is on or off. If I hit the button, it changes that Boolean state and then sets a pixel to be either on or off with that Boolean state, latches it, debounces it, and then if you let it go, it delatches that button and lets and then debounces. Okay. So now we're not gonna care about the LED state. We're gonna care about color. So we're gonna do long long inside? No, we're gonna do word. Do a word variable, a word called color. Okay. So if you push the button, no longer are we swapping LED states. We're going to do color plus equals, I don't know, something huge, 2,000. That might be too big, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And so we're still going to use the third pixel, pixel 4. And we're going to do a strip dot capital C other HSV. And... We're going to use that color variable we just made in there. All right. Shows it. Turns on the latch. Delays. Let's give that a try. So the color variable can be anywhere between 0 and 65,000 or so, right? So every time I push this button, it adds 2,000 to it. But it doesn't actually show yet, so that's also an issue. We'll go over how to fix that. But now we're orangish, yellowish, actually yellow, okay, getting a little more green. As I hit the button, it's starting to increment through colors here, right? So purplish, pinkish. Oh, it skipped over red. <laughs> That's all right. But as I, can, as I can see, every time I push the button, it changes that color, right? Okay. So instead of just changing the LED state, now the color is being incremented through, okay? So what we can do instead is have the pixels go through. So in our code, we have word color. I'm, I'm going to use an int called pixel, okay? And that's uh, an orange one, so maybe I'll call it pix. Okay. So... Let's do picks right here. And we're going to set it to a random color every time we up it. Random 65536. Okay. And instead of being the third pixel or, or the fourth, what is that? The fifth pixel. Third pixel. <laughs> Third pixel, pixel four. I'm going to set it to pix, right? So now it's going to start incrementing up here, okay? And let's upload that. And we're going to have an issue. 
All right, maybe you guys can guess what the issue is here. So first of all, it doesn't show the first one. Kind of lame. I'm actually going to fix that right now in code because that is lame. Okay, copy that. Go into setup. Paste that. And I'm going to initiate picks above this. There we go. Okay, so when I initiate a variable, it sets it to zero here. So this is set to zero. It's going to show that first pixel as zero, and then it's going to do a strip dot show. We're also redundant here. I'm not going to re-upload it, but we don't need a strip dot show, set pixel, then strip dot show. That's sloppy. Get rid of that. All right. So it shows the first pixel here, kind of a greenish yellow. I'm going to hit it. Doesn't do anything here. Oh. That's because our code right now is setting it 2,000 above. <laughs> Not exactly what we're looking for. So we just want to increment it, so we're going to do a plus plus. And I'll upload that. And so now every time I hit the button, it's just going to bring it up by one. So compiling. All right, here we go. Okay, hit it. Oh. There we go. So, a few things wrong here, right? And then it doesn't restart. Okay. So, first of all, once we're done showing, it doesn't turn off the previous one. That's really easy to do. So, what I can do is before we turn on the next one, we can do a strip dot set pixel color. The current picks, right? comma zero comma zero comma zero so turn the previous one off and then increment the picks and turn the next one on that way we're just going one at a time here right okay i'm gonna upload that and try it out hey there we go all right cool but now we're gone forever right so our code Right now, it's set to PIX++. Plus plus. Uh, yeah, I showed you guys Modulo. Well, well, we'll talk about Modulo again in case you guys still don't understand it here. So right now, I could do if PIX is greater than LED, or I guess greater than or equal to LED underscore count. PIX equals zero. Okay, so that's just going to loop it around. And it's going to work, but there's a little bit of a cleaner way we can do this. All right, hit this, hit this. The big test. There it is. Cool. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember fourth grade math, but we have remainders in fourth grade division, right? We don't divide it into fractions or decimals. We divide it into whole numbers with the remainder. Well, the Arduino can also do that. So what I'm going to do here is picks equals picks, but the remainder of LED underscore count. Okay. So to give you an idea here of what's going on, uh, let's say we had an LED count of 3. Okay? So, if PIX equals 0, 0 divided by 3 would be 0 remainder 0, right? So, 3 divided by 3 equals 0 R0, right? Okay? Oh, interesting. It changes that color to green. Okay, whatever. Or, sorry, 0 divided by 3. There we go. Okay, now let's say we have a 1. 1 divided by 3 equals 0 remainder 1. Okay, 2 divided by 3 equals 0 remainder 2, right? Because you can't fully divide it by 3 and there's 2 left over, right? Now we get to the big one. Okay, 3 divided by 3 
is one, right? So we get a full one, remainder zero. Okay, four divided by three equals one remainder one. Okay, so as we can tell on this side of it, right? So zero divided by three is zero, 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 right? Three divided by three is one. Okay, so this isn't very useful for what we're doing, but on this side, the remainder is useful. So zero is zero, one is one, two is two, but if we hit three, if we hit LED count, it sets it back to zero, right? And if we exceed it, it brings it back down the right amount, right? It brings it back down relative to where it should be. So if I were to do pix plus equals two, right? It'd be zero, two, four, which would bring back a one, three, which would bring back a zero, <laughs> right? Okay, maybe I'm making it a little more confusing by by talking like that. Anyways, let's just go with singles. So zero, one, two, zero, one, two, right? It just keeps going in a pattern, but it limits it. So real world, right? I'm pushing this button. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to talk about our math. I'm going to hit upload. Oh, we're also going to short shorthand it too. So pix percent equals LED count. There we go. So this, this and this mean the exact same thing. Okay. We'll be using this shorthand a lot. Makes the programming a little more, uh, it keeps it neater. Okay, so as I hit the button, 0 divided by 11 is 0, remainder 0, remainder 1, remainder 2, remainder 3, remainder 4, right? All the way up here, remainder, let's see, what would this be? 8, remainder 9. So this is 10, right? 10 divided by 11 is 0, remainder 10. But I hit it again, and it's going to be 11. 11 divided by 11 is 1 remainder 0, right? So I hit it again. There it is, remainder 0. And so now that pix right here equals 0. Then increments back through. There we go. So we don't need to set up an if statement. We just do that little piece of math and run it through. So now I'm hitting the button. It's changing colors. Okay. Hooray! We did it, right? <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get quite a bit more complex. Okay. So what we're going to do is have the LED just moving back and forth. Okay. And then we're going to have it reverse direction. Okay. So let's set that up. I'm going to get rid of... Yeah, I'll get rid of a lot of this stuff. I'll keep... I'll keep that, right? And I'll keep the this here. Oh, I guess latch equals one in this. And then at the end, we'll put our delay in here still. Keep that debounce. And this isn't the right way to do it, but it's the way we're going to do it now. When we get to the 300 and 400, we're going to be using all internal timing instead of delays. But I'm also going to bring this delay down to two. Because that's a little more reasonable. Okay. So, outside the loop here, so we've got this integer called picks, right? It sets it up to some random color on our color wheel, right? Color wheel, random of a 16-bit variable. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is set up a timer, okay? If, I guess, sorry, whoops, we have to do long unsigned timer long unsigned picks timer okay i capitalize that t because i'm used to it <laughs> i'm used to the second word in all variables and all commands being capitalized that's not necessary just make sure you keep it the same right if you capitalize it Everything you do, else you do has to be capitalized. It has to be the same exact thing as this. If you don't capitalize it, make sure nothing else is. 
so I'm going to be talking as if I'm capitalizing it, right? Okay, so first thing I do is read the time. Timer equals millis. Okay. So it goes into the chip, grabs the time it's been running, and stores it in that variable. Okay. So if timer is greater than picks timer, so picks, <laughs> picks capital T timer, so picks timer, then, see, I want it going a little bit fast. I'll go picks timer plus equals 200. There we go. Okay. So it's going to be moving five pixels a second. Okay. But it's got to actually increment these things, right? So picks plus equals direction. Right? So we're going to say if it's going up or down. So let's try that out. So int dir equals one okay cool all right oh gotta clean that up a little keep it organized okay and we're also going to make sure we don't exceed anything right so picks percent equals led count now this will work good for a little while I'll show you I'll show you uh why it doesn't always work good okay so if we push the button we just want to reverse that direction right so dir equals 0 minus dir so basically direction equals negative direction okay so, 0 minus negative 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So, if it's a negative 1, it's a positive 1. If it's a positive 1, then it turns into a negative 1. Okay? And so, the direction will be changed. Okay. One more thing we have to do is actually show a pixel. Right? Like, if we do this, that variable will change every time, but... We're not actually talking to a pixel here. Okay. So after it, you know, figures out where the LED count is and stops, we're going to do here, let's see, strip dot set pixel color, pixel <laughs> color. And we're going to use picks right here, comma, strip dot capital C other HSV and we'll still do a random random six five five three six and the random parentheses and the color HSV parentheses and the strip dot set color parentheses semicolon okay then one more thing we need is strip dot show hey okay, now Remember when we were pressing the button last time and it would go between them, right? And see how it turns off the pixel before it and then turns on the one after it, right? So we got to make sure we do that too, okay? So strip dot set pixel color pix comma zero comma zero comma zero, okay? So it turns off the previous one as whatever direction it goes. Make sure we're not overflowing, which might or might not work. We'll find out. <laughs> and then changes the next one to a random color, right? And then shows it. Okay. And then if we push the button, it changes the direction. And if we let go of the button, it's going to let us push it again. Okay. Let's upload this and talk about any issues we might have.
All right, so there it goes, and it moves just fine here, right? Okay, I hit the button, and it goes the opposite way. Oh, where'd it go? That's really weird, right? Okay, so let's talk about math, our fourth grade math. Negative 1 divided by 11 is 0 remainder negative 1. Okay, that's not going to quite work here <laughs> in this in this scenario here, okay? So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. So instead of using picks percent equals LED count, if picks is greater than or equal to LED count under score count, picks equals zero. Okay. If, okay, so that one we've seen works, right? But if picks is less than zero, so if we've gone below zero, picks equals LED underscore count minus one. Okay, why do we do minus one? That's because numbers start at zero on an Arduino. Okay. Now you see this thing flashing occasionally. That's because a negative 11 divided by 11 is zero remainder zero. And so that remainder sets to zero, which this pixel is. Okay. So because uh, we start at zeros, right? Keep that in mind. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have 11 pixels from 0 to 10. We do pix equals LED count minus 1 because we have 11 pixels, right, up here. But we don't want to set it to uh, pixel 11 because that's nothing. We want to set it to pixel 10, which is 1 there. Okay. Let's give this a try, see if it works. Okay, there it goes. All right, hit the button. Now we're going the opposite way. All right, hit the button. <laughs> cool. All right, so I'm going to make this go a little bit faster right now. Pix timer is 200. I'm going to make it like 80. All right, that's a little better. Kind of fun to watch. Now, I'm gonna see if I can keep it between the maximums here, right? And then the next video, we're gonna talk about a game <laughs> where it goes faster every time we hit the button and we have to keep it in between. And so this will be our first game the next video. Thanks for watching.